What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 40 minute ab strength workout. So grab a light set of dumbbells and let's get to work. you're here with me today we're gonna hit 40 minutes of abs today it's an ab strength workout just like the whole week is a strength week so I've got my five pound dumbbells here make sure you have a lighter set of dumbbells three fives probably somewhere in that area we're gonna be reaching with our dumbbells a lot rotating with single dumbbells so fives or three should be perfect for you grab options or a weight that you know is suitable for you all right we're gonna start with a quick warm-up and then I'll tell you the rundown of the uh, workout today good news we've got a fun little twist at the end so make Make sure you stick around for that and get one last burnout challenge for your abs. All right, come on down to your mat. We're gonna go downward dog position. So let's bend forward and walk it forward. Three, two, one. All right, come right here. Let's start with just a little shorter rotation. Shoot your head back towards your legs and come back over your hands. We're gonna do some planks today, so I wanna make sure your shoulders are warmed up as well. Good job. On the third one, you're gonna drop your hips down to the ground. Two and three, hips down. Let's look up, left and right. Up, left and right. When you look up, really push yourself away from that mat. Left and right, left, right. Tuck your tummy in. We're gonna go back into a child's pose and back forward into that upward dog. Okay, we'll take the hips now. So a lot of hip hinge action in this ab workout today. Okay, so let's get those hip flexors warmed up. Get the hip joints in motion. Format for our workout today. We're gonna go four exercise circuits. Okay, we've got four circuits four exercises each. All right, next one. Hop down and you're gonna roll your toes up. Come on up and stand. Let's go torso rotations. Arms out to the side, twist, twist. For each exercise, you're gonna be working for 40 seconds and resting for 20. Repeating each circuit two times. And then at the end, if you've been around the channel, you may have heard the siren before, but we're gonna close out the workout today with our burpee siren that is now officially the ab siren. Okay, so Dustin's gonna be in control. Let's rotate up and over. Dustin's gonna be in control of that ab siren. And we're gonna rotate between leg levels. All right, I'll tell you more when we get there. But at the end, just make sure you're ready to listen for a siren. All right, one last one. Let's step back. Lunge, step up, switch legs, lunge. Okay, just one more thing for the hip flexors to warm those guys up. Knees down, kick it back, lunge. All righty, go ahead and grab your dumbbells, and we're gonna sit down on the ground. Your first exercise is gonna be a dumbbell sit up, dumbbells right overhead. Ready? Let's go. Keep those heels down. When you shoot your head through your arms, come back down. Arms are right over your chest again, okay? So you're not reaching back here. Great job. There we go, we got about 10 seconds left here. Good job, make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're actively pulling your belly button down. Nice work, nice work. Give me just a couple more. Three, two, one, and rest. Let's flip it over onto the left hip. Okay, keep a dumbbell in your right hand. All right, for this one you're coming up. Jackknives on the side. Okay, go ahead and join me. There we go. Just one side at a time. Your bottom arm is either here beside you or out front. If you need a little help, put it out front. Let it help you push up. Okay, if not, keep it right here by your side and really challenge that oblique. Go 
Good work. Got about 10 seconds left here. And then if you're guessing that we're rolling over to the other hip, you're right. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, roll it over, over, over. Okay, so dumbbells in your left arm this time. Coming up on the side to your left leg. Big deep breath, we're gonna go in four, three, two, let's go. So challenge yourself to try to keep your hand right in front of your hip. If you need a little extra help, put it in front of your chest. Let it help you push up just a tiny bit, okay? That's a modification for you. Another modification, obviously, drop the dumbbell. Okay, so whatever level you're at, just make sure you're with me. Rocking for 45, resting for 15. There you go. Keep breathing out, make sure you squeeze this oblique at the top. 10 seconds. Good job. Five, four, keep breathing for three, two, one, rest. Okay, last exercise of our first circuit. Two different levels. Level one, keep your dumbbells here, and you're gonna go leg raises. Level two, if you need a modification, drop the dumbbells, hands under your hips, same thing. Okay, ready? Let's go. The goal of these leg raises is to make sure that your back stays flat on that mat, on the floor, wherever you are. It's all about pulling the lower abs in, not letting your back arch. Only go as low as you can control, okay? You get to a certain point and your back starts to arch up like this, pull it down, come right back up. Think about your spine touching the mat. And that happens when you pull your belly button in tight. Okay, give me 10 more seconds here. And rest. All right, so we're back at the top of our circuit. Round number two, so we're back to the sit-ups with the overhead hold. In four, three, two, one, let's go. On this one, I want you to sit up and twist. Give me a little twist at the top. There you go. Up, twist, and down. Up, twist, and down. Look over to the opposite wall. That's it, good job. Control it on the way down as well. Make sure you're not flopping back onto the mat, right? Come back here, one vertebrae at a time, you're rolling it down with control. 10 seconds, and we're moving on to that right side jackknife. You're doing great, almost done with this first circuit. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, so right arm keeps the dumbbell, roll onto your left hip. Okay, if you want to, drop the dumbbell if that's what you need to do. If not, keep the dumbbell, go at your level, okay? 45 seconds, let's go in two, one, reach it up and down. That bottom leg stays on the floor. You're squeezing your oblique right here above your hip, between your hip and your ribs to pull your body up. If you need a little help, use your bottom hand. Try not to though, okay? You're here today because you wanna be challenged, you wanna be pushed, so try not to use that modification unless you need it. Good work. You got 15 seconds, and we're switching to the other side to hit that left side oblique. Pull, relax, pull, relax, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, switch hands with your dumbbell. It's now in the left hand. Rolling over onto the right hip. Okay, arm is out front or down by your side. All right, here we go, two. One, let's go. The more you can use just your abs, the better. Okay, try not to use this bottom hand or elbow. That's it. And when you're bringing your upper body up, make sure it comes up before your leg. If you bring your leg up first, there's not much room for you to go up to, right? So upper body comes up and then your leg. Great work, keep squeezing down. We've got 15 seconds. 
And then we're gonna go that last exercise of circuit one, leg raises. Let's go, we got it. Squeeze, always try to think ribs to hip. Two, one, rest. All right, last exercise, first circuit. Grab your dumbbells if you are going to pull them over your chest with me. Okay, remember, back is flat, so pull that spine down before you start. Legs up, two, one, let's go. Keep your feet together. Hear my breathing? When I lay them down, I'm inhaling, and when I bring them back up, I'm exhaling. Whatever breathing pattern gets you to breathe throughout the move, go for that. Press that lower back down. You've got 10 seconds. Hold on, keep rocking. Four, three, one more rep if you can. Two, one, and rest. All righty. Come on up, you've got 15 seconds if you wanna grab some dumbbells or grab some water. Keep your dumbbells near you. I'll show you your next exercise. We're gonna go sit-ups, placing your dumbbell on your shin and going back up to get it. Ready? Let's do it. Take it overhead, up to your ankles, reach back overhead and go grab it. If you need to modify, place your legs down and just come up with your dumbbell, okay? Two levels there, leave the dumbbell up top, go back up and get it, or just give me a regular setup. Great job. Whew. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Two, one, stay up here with me. Second exercise, just one dumbbell as well. You're gonna go half of a Russian twist, so I'm calling it a right side rower. Okay, we'll start with the left since I'm facing you. Legs up if you can, you're going from over top of your knees to your hip, okay? Whew. 40 seconds, let's go. Knees, hip. Need to modify, drop your heels down. Same thing, reach forward all the way straight so your spine is straight and then rotate over towards the obliques. That's it, make sure your shoulders are turning with you as well. 15 seconds. Good job, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, you probably guess what the next one is. We're going to the other side. So we did left side rowers here. Now we're going to the right side. I'll flip it around here so you can still see. Make sure your chest is rotating with your dumbbell so you're not here, okay? You're here and here. Chest rotates. Two, one, let's go. Hear me exhaling? That's what I need you to do as well. When you deflate your lungs, it's easier for your abs to constrict, okay? And you just have to breathe anyway, so <laughs> might as well keep it in your mind that you're moving and breathing at the same time. That's it. Good job, four. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, next exercise. Soles of your shoes are gonna be together. You're gonna do a sit up, legs like a frog or a butterfly, okay? You determine whether or not you wanna use a dumbbell. Okay, if you do, keep it on your chest. Two, one, let's go. Roll it up and roll it back down. If you need a dumbbell to help you get up, Reach over, give me a little swing, and really go slow on the way down, okay? More advanced option, keep it right on your chest, actually touching your chest. There you go. This open hip structure really targets the lower abs. 
So if you're thinking lower belly target, you are right. You're feeling it there, you're doing it right. Seven seconds. Roll it down slow. Two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're back up to the sit-ups, placing the dumbbell on your shin if you can. Okay, like I said, if you're modifying, keep your legs down. Just do a regular sit-up. Okay, if you can, pop those legs up. Ready? And here we go. 45 seconds, you're doing great. Try to go the whole 45 without stopping. Establish a pace early on and stay right there. Push through that burn. It's only temporary, okay? Once you rest, it'll go away. So just push through it. That's it, come on, come with me. You've got seven seconds and you're resting. Push, push, push. Three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest. We're going back to the left side rower. So come on up, Whew. seated position. Legs are bent right out in front of you. Off the ground if you can. If not, keep your heels right where they are. Start out in the middle. Let's go to the left. Ready, here we go. And I want you to stay leaned back as much as you can. See how I'm at a 45 degree angle here? If you're up here, not doing much for your abs. Okay, stay back, touch, reach, touch, reach. Just like you feel in Russian twists, only it's just one side. Keep that torso nice and long. Okay, so make sure you're not rounding your back out really hard. Keep it tall. That's it, 10 seconds. Middle, left, middle, left, five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, swing it back around to the other side. You don't have to twist around, I'm just doing that so you can see. Whew. All right, here we go. Right side, three, two, one, let's do it. Middle, right, middle, right. Good, nice tall torso. Remember, back is not rounded. It's tall and long. There we go, good. Reach, twist with your whole upper body. Reach it, pull, reach it, pull. Good job, 15 seconds. If you wanna challenge yourself, lift your legs, touch straight out, touch straight out. Keep it back on the back part of your butt. Three, two, one, whew. Ah, great job. Okay, back to frog sit-ups. So soles of your shoes are together. Dumbbell on your chest, if you can. If not, take the dumbbell overhead and swing yourself up. Two, one, let's go. Roll it up and roll it down with control. There you go. Give yourself time on this one. It won't come up as fast as the normal push-up or the normal sit-up. So give yourself time, give your abs time to work. If you're getting stuck here, reach over, give yourself a little bit of a takeoff push and keep that control going. On the way down, you always control the speed. 10 seconds and we're done with our second circuit and we're that much closer to the burpee, or to the sit-up horn, to the ab horn. Sorry, I need to rest. I need to not do uh, frog sit-ups and talk. Okay, next one, we're gonna take both dumbbells. Feet are up in the air, five seconds, you're crunching up and down. Two, one, let's go. Up, down, up and down. I want a slight pause when you get your shoulder blades off the ground. Reach up for the middle of your shin, okay? Right below your socks. Almost to the ankle. 
the higher the better. So really pull those shoulder blades off the ground, pull the belly down and get up there. Seven seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, Whew. big deep breath. We're gonna go chest loaded, side suitcases. Okay, so come in here, dumbbells at your chest. Whew. Actually, lay it down, dumbbells are at your chest. You're going to the left and to the right. Ready, let's go. Reach to the left, back in. Reach to the right, back in. Dumbbells are right over top of your chest the whole time. The lower you can go, the more of a challenge it is. If you can rotate your hip over to be just on your side, even more of a challenge. So you control how low you go and how much you twist. 15 seconds. Great job. Reach all the way out, legs are all the way extended. Six, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Great job. All right, one dumbbell is gonna sit up nice and tall at the end of your mat. You're gonna go leg lifts over top of your dumbbell. So, starting on the left, you're gonna go lift and drop. Notice when I lift, my chest comes up so the body closes in. Two, one, let's go. Up, down, up, down. So you're going side to side. Legs are back, or your hands are back behind your hips. You're staying just a little bit leaned back, okay? Sorry, it's hard to breathe and talk on this one. <laughs> Make sure, of course, you're always focusing on your breath first. Pulling the belly in, keeping your hips rotated back. Seven seconds, up, down, up, down. Rest, good job. Last one, you're gonna do a plank slide through. No dumbbells on this one. You're rotating side plank to side plank. So let's start on your right elbow, okay? And then you're gonna constantly be switching sides, okay? So right elbow, slide the arm through, left elbow, slide it right. So you're not touching the ground, you're just sliding that other elbow in place of the other one to replace it. And then you open up to the side, switch, open up to the side. Make sure when you get to the side, you open up all the way and then go back down. Not a race, not a speed exercise, just control. There we go, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, so we're back up to the top, to the toe touches, grab both dumbbells. Abs are getting stronger today, right? Whew. Okay, legs up. Three, two, one, let's reach. Pull the abs down as you reach. You have to actively pull them in order for this exercise to be effective. Pull them to the ground, reach high. Pull them to the ground, reach high. That's it. Now pull down even harder. Let's go. We got it. We've got 15 seconds and we're moving on. Pull them down. Reach, reach, reach. 10. Let's go, we got it, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, stay right here. You're going for the chest loaded side suitcases, okay? Dumbbells over your chest. Like I said, higher is the modification or the easier level. If you wanna go a little harder, go lower and twist more, okay? Come with me, let's go. Your job is to hold your lower belly in control. Okay, keep your shoulder blades on the ground. Don't let them roll over. Dumbbells are stacked right over your chest to remind you of that. Okay, from your belly button up, does not move. So it's just a lower ab thing. 
reach over and out, fully extend the legs, bring them back in, pull to the other side, reach out again. Five, four, two, one, rest. Whew. Okay, leg lifts over the dumbbell. Whew. We're back to these guys. So feet start on one side, you're leaning back, you're gonna lift over, drop it onto the other side. Hands are behind your hips, ready? Let's go. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, go ahead. The objective is you're just, <laughs> both dumbbells down. The objective is you're just lifting up and over. Control it all the way down, okay? We've got about 10 seconds left. Down, up, five, four, three, two, rest. <sighs> okay, back to your plank slide throughs. I've got this um, softer mat that I like to use for my ab exercises. It's a little thicker, it's about a half an inch thick, so that's why my dumbbells fell over. Whew. Okay, here we go, two, one, let's go. Twist. Open, twist, open. Great job, open it up. Get those hips and the chest fully turned to this direction, slide the arm through, don't touch your hips down. Let your feet roll over and stack on top of each other. There you go, almost done with the plank slide through. 15 seconds. Open up, let's go. Almost done with this one. And then we've got one more circuit, and then the ab horn. Whew. The finisher. Two, one, rest. Okay, grab some water. 15 seconds, you're gonna grab both dumbbells, and we're gonna go jackknives. One arm at a time, you're reaching up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, two, one, and join me, here we go. Reach up, hold the other dumbbell down here by your side. Keep breathing. That's it, we've got about 15 seconds. I'm right here with you guys. I know, it burns, it's tough, but we can do it. We're in it together, okay? We got this. Two, one, rest. Come on up. Whew. Hop onto your right elbow. We're gonna go right side plank, thread the needle, okay? Right elbow is down. Got that dumbbell in your left hand. You're gonna reach back and open. Back and open, okay? Pull the arm through, open it back up. Reach, kind of like back towards your hip, and then open. If you need to modify, drop the dumbbell or drop your bottom knee, okay? Reach and open. Whatever level of that you're at, keep rocking. Whew. Let's go. Great job. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. <sighs> okay, you guessed it. We're going on to the left side. Whew. Good work. After this, we're gonna work the core on the back side of your body so your belly gets a little break. Here we go. Come on up, thread the needle with the right arm. Two, one, let's do it. Thread and pull it through. Reach under and look up at your dumbbell as you bring it back up to the top. Again, modification, no dumbbell or bottom knee is bent. Same thing, keep your hips up. Okay, whatever level you're at, keep rocking. Ten. 
10 seconds, whoop. It's all right if you fall over, just hop back in, okay? Two, one, rest. Okay, this next one, no dumbbells. You're gonna hop over on your stomach. We're gonna do Superman swimmers, okay? So, crunched up, use those lower back muscles. You're reaching forward and back. Ready, let's go. Out and back, out and back. Keep those lower back muscles working to keep your chest up the whole time. Out and back, out and back. We've gotta have really good lower back strength for this strength week, especially super good emphasis week on the lower back strength. All the lifts that you have to do require core strength, which is abs and lower back. Okay, this is one of the best exercises to really isolate that lower back. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, one more round through that one, through those four exercises, and then we're at the ab horn. You guys are gonna love this. Or we're gonna hate Dustin, one of the two. I don't have control of the ab horn, just prefacing that. Okay, last round of jackknives. Two, one, here we go. Up and down, up, down, up, down. Modification, just do the sit up, twist over to the side. Almost there. We've got 10 seconds. Come on, push, push, push. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, right elbow is down. Left arm has the dumbbell. We're gonna thread the needle in that side plank. Dumbbell if you can. In three, two, one, let's go. Reach, reach. Take your time on this one. No need to rush, I promise. The more control you have, the better. Okay, so the more effective this workout is. All about control. You gotta be strong by being able to control your body. All these workouts that we've done this week require your core, your abs, your lower back to be strong. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> left arm, right arm has the dumbbell. Big deep breath. We've got this. Three, two, one, stack the feet, let's go. job. Stay with it. As tough as it gets. Shoulder starts to burn. It's okay. Push through. Open. Great job. Last 15 seconds here. And then we're going back to Superman swimmers. Seven, six, Two, one, rest. Woo. Okay, lay on your stomach. Superman swimmers. Here we go. Shove the hips down, raise your chest. Three, two, one, up. Reach and pull, reach, pull. Pull, okay, pull that chest a little higher now. By the way, right now, since we're down here on the ab mats, if you're looking for a mat to do your ab exercises on, that's a little thicker, a little more cushion, I'm gonna link the one in the description that I'm using right now. It's a wad fitters exercise mat, and it's about a half an inch thick. So 
so better than the um, yoga mats that I normally use in terms of cushioning and thickness, like for stretching and abs. Okay, three, two, one, rest. All right, flip it over onto your back. When you hear this burpee horn, that's when you're gonna drop two positions, okay? You've got 45 degrees, and then you've got six inches off the ground. Every time you hear the horn, you're gonna switch. Three, two, one, let's go. Hold it right at 45 degrees. When you hear the horn, drop it. This is your last three minutes of work. All right, drop it down. Hold there. see him but he's um, a big huge other half of this channel all right he's behind the camera putting in all the work on the editing getting you guys these videos at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every morning so I guess he decided he would take some aggression out on us today and crush us with that ab horn <laughs> hope you guys liked it let me know in the comments what you thought and if you want to send Dustin some love on the great things he does on this channel do that too all right, let's sit it back. Hips go way back, fingers go way forward. When you come back up, swing your left leg up beside your left hand. Let's stretch those hip flexors out. We definitely worked the hip flexors with those leg raises at the end. If you guys felt it like right in the front of your legs here, those are your hip flexors. So take some extra time after this workout's done, tonight, tomorrow. Whenever you do this workout afterwards, if you feel some tightness in your hips, stretch it out. Use this runner's lunge stretch. Okay, come back onto all fours, and let's switch it over. 
to the other side. Right leg up beside your right hand. What'd you guys think of this ab strength workout? Pretty tough, huh? Whew. So this is gonna be um, workout number five for the week. So we've got one more um, day in our week of strength workouts, which is tomorrow. It's gonna be an athlete strength workout. Okay, a high intensity athlete strength. Come on up. So make sure to check that out tomorrow. And of course, let me know what you thought of this strength week. I'm always looking for feedback, what you guys think of the workouts. And this week, I wanna know what you thought of the strength week workouts. And if you're not sure, if this is your first couple workouts on the channel, the last five workouts that I've uploaded have been catered to a strength theme. So we use dumbbells every day, working on getting stronger this week. All right, so let me know what you thought of the week of today's workout and what you wanna see next. All righty. So you have officially made it through your 40 minute ab strength workout today. Like I said, let me know what you thought. If you didn't hear, we made a huge accomplish accomplishment this week. You guys, and we did here on the channel, we reached 1 million minutes viewed. I think now we're at 1.4 million minutes viewed. So to celebrate, I'm giving 50% off of everything on my website. That includes apparel, my 30 day transformation program, which has a massive nutrition program and a fitness workout program that you can take to the gym or you can do at home. And also my breakfast recipes guide, which is a separate product. That's macronutrient breakfast recipes. I'm gonna give you guys 80% off of that with the code YouTube, okay? I wanna really celebrate this huge accomplishment that we made and I cannot thank you guys enough for being a part of that, for supporting me there, helping me to keep this channel going with all your encouraging check-ins with motivation and inspiration and ways that you overcame obstacles, all right? Check in, let me know what you thought. Type crushed it if you rocked your abs out with me today. And make sure you like this video before you head out. Click subscribe, and I cannot wait to work out with you guys again tomorrow. Have a great day.